attention. Maintenance for hydrangeas is not complicated. These plants, which for the most part come from Asian origins, are nonetheless widespread in gardens throughout our country. The more acid the soil, the more the hydrangea blossoms will become blue. It's a secret known to all devoted gardeners. But to attain this sky blue color, two other essential conditions must be met. Aluminium oxide and, of course, flowers that can turn blue. All year long, each plant must be watered, trimmed, and otherwise looked after. A level of care that only botanical experts can accomplish to ensure the safekeeping of all these species, some of which are the unique specimens in Belgium. The principal feature of the Grand Gallery is that it perfectly mirrors the geological features of the ground. The stairs thus take up the long straight lines, a glass corridor 200 meters long that links the Winter Garden to the Palm Plateau. A long pathway bordered by surprises, the most impressive undoubtedly being the Gallery of the Geraniums. Built in 1890, this long, narrow greenhouse remains almost entirely in its original state. If its color palette is highly varied, the geranium is recognizable by its five petals. This plant is very popular in Belgium and flourishes only when the soil is not too humid. Thus regular watering is important, but never to excess. As for the fuchsias, it's the bell-like blossoms that attract attention. This bush-like shrub hails from Central and South America. Some varieties of fuchsia cannot withstand frost. That's why it's only after winter that these blossoms will astound all those gazes fixed heavenward. The long pathway adorned with fuchsias and geraniums brings us eventually to the greenhouse of Diana. This greenhouse gets its name from the famous goddess of the hunt, a statue of whom seems to survey the spot so abundantly decorated with arborescent ferns. In this temple of vegetation, all five of your senses will be called into play as multiple odors and the sound of rustling waters will guide visitors' steps. A strange flower in the shape of a grape cluster will catch your attention. Perched at the end of its branches, the flowers of this showy medanilla sometimes reach 40 centimeters in length. Like its neighbors, the orchids, they also greatly appreciate a humid environment. Between flowers and ferns, a discreet waterfall in daylight, absolute harmony reigns here, the secret of which only the gardeners know. As soon as the greenhouse doors open, a breeze rushes down the length of the long corridors, a gentle and healthy breath of fresh air whenever the weather outside permits. Not all of the domain's greenhouses were constructed at the same time and one of them, prior to its restoration in 2005, was most remarkable for its architecture. The Azalea Greenhouse was formed from a structure of metal and wood. It's a greenhouse that houses over a hundred azaleas, flowering bushes that come in numerous colors. Originally from oceanic and continental origins, these plants prefer a slightly shady environment over a spot where the sunlight is too pronounced. The secret to abundant blossoming? Patience. As every year, it is necessary to remove each faded flower in order to ensure their continued existence. This is undoubtedly the greenhouse with the strangest forms, located at the end of the park. Welcome to the Palm Greenhouse, a majestic and unique building. Here we enter the temple of rubber trees, palm trees, banana trees, and tropical ferns, like this bird's nest fern. Here all of the species originating from subtropical regions find conditions favorable to their growth and development, as well as their fruit production. 
As for the thatch palms, they seem to want to commune with the windows perched on top of the palm greenhouse. Behind the plants, the experienced eye will recognize in the arches of the greenhouse forms inspired by Art Nouveau. Here the structure is at the service of the plant collections. The architecture thus becomes the supreme jewel in the crown of the vegetable kingdom. For more than 200 years, the seasons have passed over what is now known as the Royal Domain of Larkin. And for more than 100 years, the autumn leaves have danced around the royal greenhouses. The first rays of sun flooding this wonderful park, dominated by the bright red of the Japanese tower. Years of life written in the soil and in certain tree roots, witnesses to the history of our capital, our monarchy, and our country. Under the shelter and in the calm of the greenhouses, the exotic plants and rare collections will pass in total quiet even the rudest of winters. The greenhouses of Lochin this fabulous royal treasure will gently awaken again at the end of winter, when the first rays of sun start to warm the still sleeping panes of glass, so as to offer, several weeks later, this beautiful spectacle to the enduring amazement of all who come to witness it. <laughs>